Hello, um, yes, uh, there's a reason why, I'm, why I've made this video. There's no script this time, I'm just sort of rambling on here, but yeah, there's a reason why I've made this video. It's basically down to a comment that I've actually posted, I've included a text in, in the underbox down below, and it's on this video called Anti-Semitism is on the Rise in Britain. Now I'm going to go through this entire thread and you'll understand why this, why I've made this video with this comment. The thread is with Daniel Bostock here, who rather close-mindedly said, that's what happens when Muslims meet Jews, words are said. And 16 replies, Daniel Bostock, AEA Gaming, is it just Muslims though? There was a Labour MP who was anti-Semitic, and let's not forget that the most anti-Semitic of all was Hitler. Hitler was a Christian. By the way, not saying all Christians hate Jews. Game Freak Plus 2.5, he actually believed that Nazi Nazi was religion, that he was God. Me and my mouth, yes, the Muslim invasion popped population increases. The rest of us can expect to be caught up with a crossfire of conflict between these two fanatical sects, I suppose. Yeah, Jews and Muslims, yeah. <laughs> Gang plus Muslims deserve to die, and that's a fact. Of course, Jews are made fun of by all people, but Muslims are far more prone to actually hating Jews. And this is where I come in. Yeah, because no white people would ever show racist abuse at Jews. That sort of thing never happens in Bencham. A bit of context here. Bencham is a part of Gateshead. It's well, it's basically a very Jew-heavy part of Gated. It's it's you know it's it's a Jewish district of Gated, basically. Um, yes, there are anti-Semitic incidents, the vast majority of which are carried out by white people. You know, because white people make up the vast majority of non-Jewish people in Bencham. Daniel Bostock, it's few and far between. The average Muslim hates Jews. The average white is diff is indifferent. My quote is, yep, yeah, citation needed, because at the moment I'm basing this on the assumption that you're a white man, which of course automatically makes you smarter than everyone else, to suggest otherwise would be racist. Who knows all about the average Muslim, and is totally not projecting their own opinion onto all average whites. Point there being that there are white people who, you know, do hate Jews, you know? I mean, any sort of discrimination against one ethnic minority yes yeah, sort of travels to other ethnic minorities but you know then again judaism is is not a race it's a religion it's a religion not a race just like islam is a religion not a race so it's perfectly fine to discriminate against them apparently omar hashirama comes in fact is all muslims will die eventually let it be natural or not shut up and ask for another warm one you depressed dog i'm assuming english is not his first language i start start with a troll here yeah Fuck this, and you know, my Thunderfoot voice here. But the white man is immortal. You are ants, and we are gods. Krakarukbar. Krakar u Akbar. Yeah. Then Salticus Se Se Senecus troll. Do, don't you ever, don't you ever wonder why General G. Patton and Jews, sir? Jewels and Hitler Stalin. Yep, citation needed. Google it, you strappy prick. And he come back. Oh, you mean they? You ne oh, you mean they never said that? Oh, thank you for clearing that up. Apologies for triggering you by asking for evidence. And here's his evidence. Second topic of this video. And a short new world, which I'm not gonna click. You know, I'm not gonna fucking click that. I have no idea where that goes. Yeah. Give me a, you know, give me a fucking URL that I can, that I know is not going to go to fucking last measure. Thank you. And my response is not a citation. Now, here's the quote that I'm going to quote in the description to this video. It's also why I made this video. I'm going to read it out in, you know, my voice. White people seem to have an inherent desire to dominate, an insatiable urge to subjugate all those around them. They cannot view others as equal to them, and are incapable of living peacefully with any other race. They are the most dangerous and destructive of all creeds, a poison on the earth. There is no solution other than their total eradication. And this was attributed to Sir Charles Umbongo Bongo Esquire, QC, KCB, FHM, BSC, BBC, ITV, NHS, MSCP, Archbishop of Ubuntu Ubuntu, Lord of All Advarkistan, last Thursday from a, disc from a discarded beer mat. That's a citation. Also, yep, I'm not clicking on a shortened URL. Now, I was going to attribute this to some real 
black person, say, I don't know, Usain Bolt or Mo Farah or, you know, Snoop Doggy Dog or Kanye West or someone. But I decided not to do that. And the reason why I decided not to do that is that this text here may well end up being attributed to that actual person, even though it's a fake quote that I've just made up myself. That was the whole point behind this. You can make up any shit, attribute it to anyone, and it ends up getting believed. It's also why I'm making this video, because I want to make it clear that it's, you know, it's not the first person to have said this was me on a video, you know, from Channel 4 News. Yep, not any black leader, not any, you know, Muslim leader, not anyone else out there. I said this. It's shit I made up, you know, to demonstrate that, you know, it's not a citation. Anybody can attribute any old shit to any old person and pass it off as true. I don't want this quote or any form of it to be passed off as true. You know, this is shit that I don't believe. You know, obviously, I am a white man myself. I don't want I don't want the right white race to be eliminated because, you know, that would mean that I get eliminated. <laughs> and that's it, basically. This is, it was a joke comment that I said. It's not to be attributed to anybody else. Thank you for watching, and I've, I've, I have no idea what to say now. Um, bye.